So let's imagine that I have a, a bookshop where people can come search for books and uh, buy any of them. So this bookshop, as you can see here, uh, this is a browser screen. You, you can call it the client. It, it can be anything like React, Vue.js or anything. Okay. So the front end has a backend service right here, the bookshop. And as it says, this backend service serves the site. That means whenever someone comes up to the bookshop, uh, sees the details of a book, tries to buy it, this backend service or API will be responsible for that. There is also another service, the Typesun service running here, which is uh, almost similar to the one here, but this is only responsible for serving the searches. Okay, as it says here, I'll serve the searches. So whenever someone comes in to my bookshop, searches for a book, Typesense will be responsible for serving that search because that's what Typesense is made for. It, it's a dedicated service for doing searches, okay? So as you can see, here is collection and documents. Let me explain those two words. So basically my, my bookshop service here has a database of its own. It can be anything. It can be either MySQL, it can be MongoDB or any database engine that, that you prefer. And the TypeSense service here ha also has a database of its own. The bookshop database holds information about my users, all the purchases, maybe their billing information, their names and the books. But the TypeSense service here only holds the information that the user may look for. So in this bookshop, a user can come in and search for books. That means the TypeSense database here only knows about the books and nothing else, okay? If you have worked with NoSQL databases in the past, like MongoDB or something like that, then you may know what collections are. So collections are a bunch of documents, same kind of documents put together. And these documents that I have been talking about are individual books. So maybe we have a document for the alchemist that Sankal has read recently. So that single document will hold the name of the book, the name of the authors. There can be multiple actually. Uh, a cover image, the average rating, and the year of publishing. Okay. And when we put together a bunch of documents, like the alchemist, the murder on the Orient Express, maybe uh, the art of thinking clearly, and a bunch of other books, we, we put them together into a collection. So like I said, if you have worked with something like MongoDB in the past, this entire architecture should be really, really easy to understand for you. But... If you are from a background where you have worked with relational databases a lot like MySQL or Postgres or Oracle, then a collection in TypeSense can be uh, compared to a table in MySQL. So imagine there is a table that contains the information about books and each row in that table is a book. So the documents will be those rows. 